Welcome back to the Beating You channel. This is the channel dedicated to the truck used in Jeepers Creepers. Today we are going to talk about the cabin of this truck and all of the things that the Creeper has at his disposal up here in front. It's going to be a cool video because you guys don't usually get to see in the front of this truck and it really is cool up here. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of stuff. Um, but what's here is cool. So let's start with the uh, dash area and then we'll work up and down as necessary. So this is an original steering wheel. It's a 19, actually 46 wheel. We can tell that because it's black. Um, the earlier ones were kind of a reddish color. And uh, I chose to put it in here because it's in really good shape. Uh, now this steering wheel is connected to a steering box that allows this truck to turn all the way from the left to all the way to the right in just two turns of the steering wheel. So that's really cool. And it's got the old horn button here in the middle, which does not operate anything. Over here we have a 1950s probably or 60s vintage uh, turn signal assembly that you would put on vehicles that didn't originally come with turn signals. And so that's bolted to the steering column here and it works well. We have the turn signals when they are used uh, they activate these top marker lights that you've seen on the Creeper's truck. So the outer corner lights, left and right, will work. And then there are lights in the back as well. I utilized a 1950s uh, shifter that would usually have been used for a standard shifter on the column. Uh, but I have uh, put an automatic in this truck, so I use the shifter to operate an automatic and it works very well. Um, really cool to have sort of a vintage look to this, uh, all of the elements of this truck. Behind here, you have these original gauges. These gauges were restored and they were changed to accept 12 volt, which this truck is now. Each one of these gauges works and you have the temp, you have charging, you have a gas gauge, and then you have the oil pressure and a speedometer. Speedometer goes up to 100 miles an hour, and I think this truck would probably peg it. Although, I don't do that because the weak point on this truck are the wheels and tires. They're the original ones meant to go about 45, so I keep it to about 65, something like that. That's safe. Over here, we have a wiper switch, which operates nothing. The creeper doesn't need wipers. And then over here, we've got a headlight switch. This does work, it's got high and lows. You've got your key here, mounted in the center of the dash. And then you've got a cool little glove box here. Now, underneath the lid of this glove box are a completely different set of gauges that are modern and a little bit more um, reliable in some cases. So I made the housing that holds these gauges and they are reliable just in the event that the older ones are not. The dashboard out of this truck uh, is from a 1936 Chevy truck. And that 36 Chevy would have had a flat windshield and it was also narrower. So we had to add an inch to this dash on each side. And then up here, in the, on the top, we had to add a V to it to fit this v windshield. And so it's a unique dash that is only in this truck and the second truck that they used for Jeepers Creepers 3. And it just looks wicked. And so I thought it looked better than the original dash. The original dash that was in this truck looks cool, but it just looks more Art Deco and beautiful. This sort of has a natural frown to it, and I just like it. Last and not least, certainly a very cool addition to this truck and uh, one of the things that the Creeper has when he is chasing people down is he has this tachometer. This is actually a taillight from an old car 
and it was cut to fit the dash and accepts a newer tachometer so we can always tell what's going on with the engine. It's good to be safe but also the creeper has this and it just looks pretty vicious. Under the dash we have this bone dagger uh, that you would think that it would operate something really cool. Maybe in fiction it does. Maybe that releases the landmines that roll out from under this truck. Maybe that activates the harpoon if you are here and you want to physically do it as opposed to telepathically. But in reality, it operates the outside cal vent on this truck. That's the original place where the handle belonged. Next to that, we have an original 1941 Chevrolet radio. So the creeper, as he's cruising along collecting bodies, can listen to any station he wants as long as it's AM. Next to the radio, we have a vintage 1960s, probably model, uh, CB. That is what the creeper uses so that he can listen to the police and avoid their efforts to catch him. Going even further down, we have the pedals. Uh, we have a brake pedal and a gas pedal. There is no clutch because the clutch was removed from this truck during the restoration. It wasn't necessary uh, since we were putting it on that again. Uh, it is the original brake pedal, the original gas pedal that are connected to the newer components that are within this truck. Also, over on the far corner here, we have the original handbrake. And this thing works and operates. It's been restored with the rest of the truck, so it's pretty cool. Okay, as we move upward, we have our horn pole. This, unfortunately, does not work yet. I am working on a real horn for this truck. Many of you who follow this channel know that the Creeper trucks never had original horns. It was a sound effect that was dubbed in after the movie was made and put in in post. So I'm working on a real horn that will hopefully sound like the original, will be mechanical, and this is how it's gonna be activated. We've got a period correct original 1941 Chevrolet mirror in this truck. This is a beautiful mirror that reflects the eyes of the creeper. It's a really cool part of the movie to see that. Now up here, we have this amazing header panel. And if you have not seen the video of me putting this in, go take a look. Now what's really cool about this is all of the signatures from the cast and crew from the making of Jeepers Creepers 3. Over here on the right, you have three little toggle switches. Those operate these upper lights um, on the top of the cab of this truck. And that allows me to turn these off individually. So if these switches are all on and I turn the headlights on, all of the lights come on and the, and the turn signals will work on the outer uh, edges. If I turn these off, then that will kill the marker lights. So uh, I can turn these off one at a time. So in other words, I could run just one corner marker light and it will look like it's old and beat up. And we do use that from time to time. You've probably seen that if you've watched videos on this channel. The Creeper has inside here a couple of handles, one on both sides to allow him uh, easier entry into this truck. He seems to be doing it fine so far, but when he gets a little older like me, these are really handy to get in and out of this truck. Another cool element about the cabin of this truck are these seats. They are original 1941 seats out of a Chevy. They're very comfortable and they actually work as they should. This seat here moves all the way forward and you can have access to the back of this truck from the front door if you want to. You probably notice that there are two seats in here. Well, I have two seats in here because I like to take people for rides and that kind of thing. For the movie, they took this passenger seat and they put it into their interior set, uh, the other cab uh, that was used for an interior set where they built a much bigger box on the back and they could have lights and cameras and everything they needed in there. So both trucks, as it would be, that were used for the making of Jeepers Creepers 3 had a single seat in there. It also allowed for the spear to shoot out of the seat and be a vicious weapon. So 
This truck carries both seats that were used in Jeepers Creepers 3 in both sets. This original truck had this seat in it, and the set truck where all the interior shots were done had this seat in it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, getting a little look at the cabin in the infamous Creepers Chariot. It doesn't have a lot of amenities, but everything is comfortable and it works well, and it's a joy to drive this truck. We will be doing more. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the back of this truck, and that's gonna be fun, and we're gonna focus on some of the individual weapons that were used in Jeepers Creepers 3. And so please like, subscribe, come back next time. I wanna show you some more good stuff. Thanks for watching, see you next time.